Hey, what's up, guys? This is Brian with Radical Prep. We're doing more College Board questions for the new SAT coming out in March. Uh, this one's a passport to advanced uh, mathematics, advanced algebra. So let's take a look. Um, we've got two equations here, and they say if xy is a solution to the system of equations above, what is the value of x squared? So you can use your calculator for this one, but I'm going to pose a question to you. Let's say you had 10 seconds left. You had to guess on this. And I'll say there's only two answers here which I think are worth even looking at to guess at. Could you pick them out? Take a look. So you three, two, one, you gotta guess. Which two don't you pick? I'll tell you right off the bat, you don't pick these two. Because we're dealing with x squared. So if, if we're looking for the solution for x squared, it probably makes sense that that number is a perfect square. Because if x squared is 144, x is 12. And if x squared is 9, x is 3. So I didn't even try and go in the solution yet. I'm just trying to give you ways to think about the SAT if you're in a jam, how you could try and eliminate answer choices. Let's actually do the problem now, though. So let's say this is, this is just substitution. So I'm going to take negative 4x and plug it in here because that's y. So x squared plus negative 4x squared equals 153. We're going to bring this down. This is going to be 16x squared equals 153. This is 17x squared equals 153. And hopefully, 17 goes into 153, right? Let's test it. 153 divided by 17 is 9. So we get x squared equals 9. What do you know? Our, our original trick of trying to eliminate uh, answers and possibly guess the right one, we would have had a 50-50 shot. So we got nine here. And that's it. All right, good luck on studying for the new SAT.